Okay, now this is the first of three videos that are included in your report. You know, uh, and this is sort of like an overall video of all this stuff because you asked for so much stuff. Maybe <laughs> I could send you, you know, one of my old reference books probably, <laughs> but I'm trying to narrow it down to the best places for you to start, you know, for solving these problems that you told me about. One is you have credit card debt, right? Two, you have a you want to pay off a plus loan. It's a college loan, a, you know, a student college loan that that costs you about eight hundred dollars a month. Wow, and you've got seven more years. I mean, that's incredible. Okay, and then also you have a home you're trying to pay off uh, and fix up your your home, and also businesses. Now, there, there, each of those problems, there's, wow, lots of places, you know, <laughs> uh, to, to, to investigate that I could inundate you with, and, and a lot of them are in this report. But what I want to talk about first are the places to start, okay, because there's so many problems. I mean, in solving any kind of problem in life, I mean, the first thing isn't going to work. You know, the problem is that we go and Google and we Google, you know, like money for student loans or housing or grants of business and you get a hundred million websites. And that's why people don't do anything because 90% of those websites are people trying to get money from you and you don't have money. So it, it's silly to deal with that. So that what I'm showing you are places that don't ask for money. So all these places are going to give you money or help to solve all these problems you have. Uh, and so if any of the sources I give you <laughs> wind up, you know, they say going to charge you something, something screwed up and let us know. So let's start with the plus loan. Now I'm not a, you know, uh, an expert in, in government loans and they're changing all the time. But p plus loans, here's, a, I put in a couple of articles here and links to them uh, about paying them back and also really getting them forgiven or canceled because that's what's going on with a lot of the student loans because we have more student loan debt now than credit card debt and people are all you know messed up with the student loan debt so you should investigate that because that may be something you can reduce or get rid of part or whatever and said so even like a plus loan they can't be discharged for bankruptcy but there's other ways to get it because there's ways that you could change this to a normal student loan and and put that get that refinanced now i'm not an expert so i want you to talk to somebody who could really tell you about this and then part of that can be forgiven or get a lot lower monthly payment plan or whatever or even cheaper rent uh, cheaper payment plan so read the two articles that i have there uh, and, and it talks about refinancing options and what's available. Uh, they're important, I think. And because, gosh, if you have $800 a month, boy, that's, that means you have to make $1,000 or more before taxes to pay off the, <laughs> the uh, $800. So now, also I give you a link there for credit counselors. Now these are free. So that's why I would talk to them. See if you could call them and ask about re um, I don't know what, what do you call it? <laughs> yeah, uh, re reissuing this, you know, uh, the the plus loan and getting it into another kind of uh, loan. And uh, all the data here is to do that, and also the office to find a local HUD counseling because these are financial counselors that get grants from the federal government to do this kind of work for free. Another place you get them for free, you said your kids are grown and things like that. You may be considered a senior. Seniors start like at 40 years old in this country. Some programs 50, others are 60. So I gave you a link there for get free financial counseling because you're a senior. So you want to take this plus loan and, and look around, but don't, you know, don't go to the people selling money to get an answer because they, of course, have some wind bang, dig, whistle blowing, you know, problem solving loan they're going to have you and they're just selling money. So you need independent information about that. So that's why I would, of all your problems, I would start to work on that. 
Now, uh, and I have all that stuff right in the beginning of your report. Another thing that you may want to consider right away is uh, IDA savings programs. I gave you a link, and this is a place where you could start saving money, and because you're going to have needs, I mean, you're going to start saving for other things, whether it's starting a business or fixing up your house or whatever like that. And this is a wonderful place because if you put in a dollar, they're going to put in another four dollars, five dollars, or even eight dollars. Man, I mean, you can't get that kind of deal anywhere. <laughs> they're called individual development accounts. And so they're uh, government subsidized saving. But it's got, boy, I mean, just think if you had a million dollars, you could put that in there and you make an extra four million dollars in just in one day. I mean, there's nowhere else in the world you could do something like it. So find out, I gave you a link to how to find out the programs in Illinois there. You contact each of them, see if you apply, because they may be in Chicago or somewhere else. If that doesn't matter, you're still in Illinois and you may be eligible for those. So I would check out those. Also, you said, and this is part of the, the main you know, issues that you fix up your home. You live in a rural area, a small town. My understanding is I may be wrong in all this stuff because I'm making a lot of assumptions. So if I'm wrong, <laughs> just ignore me. Uh, and there, but there's a grant for seven hundred seven thousand five hundred dollars fix up your home from the Department of Educate. I mean, Department of Agriculture. I gave you the link there. You know, it, it's. Uh, you know, the, the USDA Rural Development Office to find out about the program, contact them, there's the phone number, and, and, and the link will tell you all the other uh, programs that are available. So you're looking for free money to fix. I couldn't find any in the state. You know, usually the states have this. Your city and county doesn't, and, and they usually have it too, but they don't. So check that. There's another thing called Rebuilding Together. It used to be called Christmas in April, I think, and they changed their name. This is a nonprofit organization that helps people fix up homes. And, and I gave you the link there in Peoria. Contact them. Maybe they're in Peoria, but maybe they, you know, it sounds like you're like 50 miles or so from Peoria. And, and see if they're up there because the income on that is, you know, you can't be a millionaire. And I think for a family of one, which I sort of assume you maybe are, uh, it's up to $35,000. So if you make up to $35,000, they come and fix up your house for free. Oh, you can't beat that, can you? <laughs> so that's a lot of the problem. Now you say you want to start a business. Wow, I mean, this is, I, I, I could talk on an hour here on the best sources to start business, but just two basic things, I think, because I think you should work on these other problems. First, get your financial you know, situation a little more sturdy, because if you get these uh, programs and, and your monthly income cut down, then you have breathing room to do something else in life. Uh, and, and the first thing to start is a business development center, a small business development center. I'll give you a link here, the information on who to contact. These are free consultants. They will sit down with you for free. Any kind of harebrained business idea you have, they'll help you step by step through the whole process. If you don't like them, fine whatever, but they're free. If you go and Google somebody like this for help, they'll help you fill financial statements, they'll give you legal help, all this kind of stuff for free. So maybe any other harebrained idea you have about starting a business, bounce it off these people. They're free and they're worth investigating. Uh, also, I gave you a link here for a report that download that tells you how to start your own home business for 20 cents. You could develop a store in almost anything. And I got lots of ideas on that. When you, um, you know, take a look at that, get some ideas. I have interviews in there, you know, 20 or 30 people who have done it. They show you how they have done it. Because you could be anywhere. You could be in the middle of Iowa or the middle of uh, you know, Russia and, and, and have the same store and it only costs you 20 cents. Also, your mortgage, okay, there's the hotline here. Contact the National Hotline for Saving Your Home. That's the hot headline I have here. Okay, that's where you want to investigate about your mortgage. There's a lot of better mortgages out there that the government is subsidizing to make sure that you're not squeezed because of that mortgage payment. I mean, gosh, you have that plus payment, you know, for $800 and mortgage payment has to be at that or whatever. And, and that's very important. Now, the other thing is I think to meet with a financial counselor as fast as possible. And I tell you how to find them where you are. They're free. Again, they're people who get grants to figure out your situation or whatever, because if you go on internet now or talk to a bank or a financial advisor, they're all in the business of selling money.
So they're, they're, if you have a money problem, they want to sell you some more somehow. It may sound good initially, but in the long run, it won't. So you need to talk to someone independently on that, and that's where to go. So they're, I think, the biggest things to do first, you know, that you should be doing. And uh, then I have two other videos, you know, that are here. One is about paying your bills and expenses, you know, and that's very important because that tells you all the major programs for helping with your bills and uh, expenses. I also tell you about their city programs there. They don't really have much, but I gave you the, the link there in case because cities may change programs all the time, may not even on the website or something coming up. And it's good to contact them. And the same way with your county. I, I, I do the same there. Uh, the programs that are available at, at the county level, just to see. I mean, it's a, not a whole lot. You know, I mean, you're a very small area of the country. But one thing you should do is your community action agency. That's in, in here listed. And they're very important because they know about all the other programs that are available that may help you. They also know about the IDA programs. So that's somebody to check in. You just call up and, hey, you know, I'm struggling. I wonder what kind of programs, financial help. Don't say you want grants. Just say you're looking for financial assistance and, and, and other kind of help that's available. The other thing that you should be aware of is the 211 uh, hotline. Now, it's United Way 211. I have that organization there. And you see, these are a listing of all the nonprofit organizations and what they're doing. Like you could help contact them for abuse, for advocacy, for the disabled, alcohol and drug abuse, child care, educational services, employment services. I mean, these are nonprofit organizations that get grants to solve these kind of problems in the community. But they don't advertise. You can't find them in Google and everything. That's why this 211 is helpful. And this other thing, if you're looking for employment or starting a career, see what your uh, one-stop career center has, because they have up to $8,000 to even train you to be an entrepreneur or train you to, be, uh, to get some kind of skill. And there's videos and everything on that. So they're the places I would start initially before you get into the other stuff. But watch these other videos. I have two other videos that I'm sending you to in the beginning. Uh, there's a video in the beginning of the top 25 government programs that every state has, and I show you the links. So this is money to pay your phone bill, money to pay your heating bill. You wanna go through that list and check which ones you might be eligible for, because I have the income requirements there. You know, it goes up to $100,000 or more, depending on the program. Uh, so see about them, and that's the best, that's the best shopping list for, uh, for getting help. Then I have another one just for bills and expenses. So watch those videos so you get an understanding of the problem. Uh, but I would say concentrate on the stuff I put up on top, download the extra reports I have, and it's just slugging through. It's contacting people, trying to find out that they won't come to you. These are people that are not making money off you, so you're, they're not gonna come to you. You gotta go to them. You know, so that's what I'm trying to do, is show you the shopping list. And that's what life is all about. It's about knocking on doors. It's about asking for help or what you have, because it, it's hidden. It's not purposely hidden. It, it, it's just a complicated life all day because out there. Because what's happening now, we're doubling the amount of information in our world every 13 months, double. So nobody could keep up on it. So you gotta just start, I mean, that's what the fun in life is, this is struggling and trying to figure it out. If it was real easy, you get bored. <laughs> but it gets hard if you're struggling all the time and not getting any positive feedback. So that's what I'm trying to do, is show you the places where you can most likely get positive feedback. If you're looking for dates, you wanna be asking people who have a big possibility of going out with you, right? Not just saying no all the time. <laughs> So that's what I do. I cut through those 100,000 sources, uh, actually 100 million that are out there if you Google this stuff and boil it down to, you know, what, 50, 100 sources here that are the best places for you to start. <laughs>